Oh, yeah. Oh, they're dumb? No, I'm dumb. So... <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back from Top of the Wall. My name is Mason Knopp, and I got another deck for you today called Selesnia Soul Sisters. So this uh, so this Selesnia Soul Sisters deck is based off of a previous Soul Sisters deck that I did, uh, which was just a mono white version that I based around a modern Soul Sisters build. Uh, but instead of Souls, uh, you know, Sarah Ascendant, you just have large uh, flyers just attack people in the air, and you can reduce their cost to make them cheap. So it feels it, you know, it's less potent than uh, as a fin it's less potent potent as a finisher, using uh, answered prayers as your uh, you know main way to close out the game, uh, or one of them. But it uh, it does the job, and it actually does have some pretty good matchups against a lot of the aggro decks and a lot of the uh, burn decks, which key mind in Popper are extremely powerful. There's quite a few reasons to splash green. Uh, the first one is very obvious essence warden which is literally just soul warden but color shifted so with uh the essence warden and the soul warden that brings our uh that brings our sister count up to uh 18 if you also include the answered prayers which does the same ability but becomes a 3-3 flyer whenever you get an etb on a creature and whenever a creature enters the battlefield suture priest has actually gotten a lot better in my eyes in this deck uh since the last time that i played because against Tron or any of the Flicker Shenanigan combo decks, Suture Priest uh, actually causes an opponent to lose a life whenever one of their creatures enters the battlefield. So that means we can literally uh, just punish them for flickering the creatures and abusing their ETBs. They're going to need Denrova Horror or to specifically remove the Suture Priest first before starting to go off. Uh, the second reason to be in, and kind of a minor one, I just wanted to try out, uh, we got Sprout Swarm. You know, if you get stalled out in the game and it starts to go later... Uh, you can use this to repeatedly just start like gaining tons and tons and tons of life. And you're going to have a bunch of creatures on board already. So having Convoke and Buyback is already kind of in your in your wheelhouse already. Uh, I added this Field Surgeon. Uh, it has nothing to do with being green. But we can use it to uh, help save our creatures from something like Electricery. And we also have the Winding Ways. Uh, the Winding Way is a another awesome green card from Modern Horizons. It's it's uh, like a smaller lead the stampede, but can also grab the uh, the lions and it puts them into the graveyard instead of on the bottom of the library. Which I I would run lead the stampede, but it makes us kind of heavy, and we are not running mana dorks like an elves. Then we have uh, all these creatures to help us flood the board. Uh, we got the squadron hawks uh, from last time, plus the acorn harvest. Getting those uh, extra ETBs will really help us gain a ton of life if we're behind. We got the Crier and Answered Prayers from last time. Uh, not going to go over them. Uh, they're pretty self-explanatory. Uh, but there is a little uh, combo here with Acorn Harvest and Ithic and Crier. Not quite what that is. Um, <laughs> and uh, Squadron Hawk. Uh, the Scion of the Wild is one of the biggest reasons to be in green. For each of our creatures on the battlefield, a lot of times that's like 6 or 7. 3 mana, we get an 8-8 eight, eight, or we get a 7-7. Seven, seven. It's a pretty good reason to be in green. Uh, I'm I'm very comfortable with a nice seven seven for three. Um, pretty pretty decent. Uh, the lean on armor guard is a three three for four, but when it enters, all of our creatures get pumped uh, with essentially a charge stuck onto a body. I uh, I feel like this is good in some of the matchups where our opponent is uh, on fewer creatures than us, so we can end up getting around and getting in the air with our squadron hawks and just having all of our uh, one ones become two two. We, we are very afraid of Electricery, so we actually have a couple cards to deal with that. We're also, we don't also don't like Nausea or Pestilence, you know, the various small creature wrath spells in the game. And we also don't like Scred Fairies very much. Uh, so giving our creatures reach and giving them a little uh, bump in the butt to avoid the Electricery and be able to reach up into the air and eat a Spell Setter Sprite is all fine with me. I am very comfortable with that. While at the same time, uh, we have a Field Surgeon that will also help us against Electricery and help save individual creatures from getting bolted or scredded. Uh, the Holy Light is there to fight other small creatures that are non-white creatures. It's not great against Burl's tokens, but it is very good against things like Elves. The Relics of Progenitus, uh, I think I should start with next, are for Graveyard Hate. Uh, Prismatic Strands are for the aggro decks. 
in the game and for the burn decks. A uh, two for one against burn is not necessarily something that we're looking for because all of our cards seem to enjoy helping us gain life. So this isn't really super important against burn, but more so for something like a big fireball or inside out combo. The journey to nowhere is just removal to catch people's creatures and eat something that we might have a difficult time dealing with. Like, uh, for instance, an Ulamog's Crusher. Uh, the Dust to Dust is actually a great way to deal with affinity and deal with other people's uh, various ATOG combo whatnot. I, I feel like ATOG combo has gone the way of the Dodo, but still is a good idea to prepare for against just, just in case. Just have a little extra way to get rid of some of those artifacts. Um, the White Mane Lion is there to fight people's removal spells. This is kind of a alternative to, um, what is it called? Uh, yes, that one, Standard Bearer. This one actually does not prevent uh, them from targeting our stuff. This one enters the battlefield and it causes that creature to return to our hand. So we can use this to not just prevent uh, people from uh, targeting our stuff, but also prevent things from dying in combat. We can use this uh, a whole bunch of extra ways, and we get an additional uh, ETB off this from all of our Soul Sisters. And later in the game, we can just return this to itself at instant speed. So on our opponent's turn, we can hold this up and hold up the Crier. Uh, we can hold up a couple other cards, and we can start playing the White Main Line, gaining a ton of life, ridiculousness. Perfectly fine with me. All right, let's get into that gameplay. Oh, we have an opponent. All right. Our opponent is here. Do they choose to play first? Uh, they've won the die roll. You should always choose to play first in Magic the Gathering. The tempo advantage is, is too good. You uh, you have the ability to safely play spells. You have the ability to uh, start making progress in the game before your opponent. It's worth it. Um, I will keep this. It's a little land heavy. Um, but I'm thinking I might want to keep it. I will keep... I think... I think I might want to just play plant. Ooh, that's not a good sign. Are they playing Popper Storm? Oh. St okay. Yeah. Unblockable 2 2. Okay. Um, sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, then. I don't think that matters much. <laughs> don't Doomblade now. There's no reason for the... Did you almost not attack? Oh, I think they almost didn't attack. Because it, it stopped for a second. Do they not know their own card? Oh, hello. I'm gonna attack you back. <laughs> I'm gonna ping you. <laughs> You're gonna get pinged, buddy. Just you wait. Oh, wait. Uh, mm, I was hoping for another soul sister. Besides these two. You girls are great, but... You know, a guy needs... I'm just gonna, yeah, gain the one. That's a disappointment. Oh, trigger. <laughs> Are they confused? Uh, or maybe they think that, um, maybe they think that, uh, I don't know, maybe they don't realize that this is on the stack? Oh yeah, sure, they, they, they figured it out. They're probably looking at our board state rather than the area where their stack is. Thinking to themselves, man, what is our opponent doing? They're thinking about it. Like, oh, wait. <laughs> I've, I've, I've been guilty of that. I've been definitely guilty of leaving things on the stack, just looking at my opponent's board state. I, I, I think I like these, I think I like the swamps. Nice swamp. Oh, oh, that's not good. Uh, hold on. Ah, dang it, I wanted to have it always yield yes. It's important to get those uh, in earlier. I've found that 
it'll help you more if you start really prioritizing those. And this has shadow, so it can't block our creatures, right? Okay, uh, it was yield, yes. Yes. There we go. Uh, always yield, yes. Uh, always yield. I'm pretty sure I know how shadow works. Ah, oh, I know how shadow works. <laughs> oh, thank God. I started playing an original in original, no, uh, Dark Ascension. Dark Ascension. Um, right after Innistrad came out. Oh yeah, it's their turn. Go ahead, go ahead. Get us for the get us for the four. I'm I'm very co cozy over here. Oh, they didn't respond saying thank you. Well, how rude! I pay them a compliment. They say nothing. Oh, that's good. They went down to fourteen. <laughs> the old towards zero, eh? Our, uh, our life is actually way less important than theirs because of the life gain that we have. A lot of decks are not prepared to deal with massive amounts of life gain. Ooh. Uh, well, I'm going to play gonna play Evolving Wilds. I think I should really just start um, closing in. I think it's just important to close in. Yep, six. Um... Getting in. <laughs> I'm going to respond by fetching, whatever they do. I don't think that I'm... I need... Well, yeah, I should probably get the force, just in case I draw a sign of the wilds, I think it was. Yeah. It's odd. I can remember the, the rippling muscle across his chest, but... For the life of me, I cannot remember uh, a card's name. I can perfectly remember the art. Name? No. No, no, no. No, that's... No. That's too much to ask for. <laughs> you can't not attack. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, 13. Oh, no. A creature. I thought I hit always yes to you. Well, well, isn't that just Danny? If we get untapped land, I want to do Soul Warden and Acorn Harvest at the same time. Uh, next turn, Whiny Way, hope we get Creature for another one of these, because we're about to win. <clears throat> our clock is ultimate, I mean, our opponent's clock is ultimately, uh, wait, when I refer to their clock, I mean... The, the how fast we're killing them. How many turns they have left to live. Uh, our clock is going to be much faster. Ooh, White Mane Lion? I kind of like White Mane Lion. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. There we go. Uh, always yield to that. Always yield to that. That'll save us some time. Um, ooh, winding Way... Oh, uh, no, I'm just going to go ahead and get in first. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're dumb. No, I'm dumb. So, <laughs> um, yeah, summoning sickness. Okay, uh, I don't think that it matters much, uh, what I do here. But I'm going to Winding Way. I'm going to grab Creatures. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's the good stuff. Probably shouldn't have told them about uh, Sign of the Wild, but... You know... Never hurts to uh, let them know how hopeless it is, right? When you're ahead? 
god. <laughs> Just staring down six damage from 19. I'm like, hmm. I wonder if I can gain, like, a little more. <laughs> oh, we sideboard. Yes. All right. Jank versus Jank. I think we won. Uh, it's, mm, they're gonna have they're gonna have nausea, right? I don't know what else their deck is gonna do. So, uh, Journey Nowhere seems potentially acceptable. I don't know if they have Gurmag or something. Uh, Prismatic Strength. I don't think that they're a combo deck either. But they were playing Dark Ritual, so I'm wondering if they just thought that that threat was good enough where if they played it turn one they could outrace people or god a lot of what we have seems pretty good uh spider cycle armor seems good what seems bad i didn't see a lot of removal either um i don't know if we're gonna have any shortage of gas considering that they're not looking for card advantage they're looking for tempo advantage with the uh dark Ritual. Dark Ritual means that you want to accelerate the game. You want to accelerate your game. Uh, and you're willing to put yourself at card disadvantage for it. So we won't have to worry about card disadvantage with Sprout Swarm. We should have plenty of action. Do we take out a Crier? <clears throat> or maybe an Acorn Harvest? Uh, Acorn Harvest might be a little slow uh, in this matchup. I could use it to gain a little bit of life. A little bit faster, maybe, than the uh, armor guard. <laughs> I don't think that they're interactive at all. I don't know what to do about this uh, against a deck that I've never seen before. Yeah, let's do that. Do we do, we do the white-made lion? Yeah, yeah, just submit it. Submit it. I don't know what's going on. Okay, do they choose to play? You really should. I mean, especially with Dark Ritual. If you're really trying to accelerate your board state and not uh, be super reactive, but proactive. They're supposed to be the aggressor, but their aggression does almost nothing against us. I don't think that they can win. Um, that, this is the problem with a lot of decks. They presume you're going to be at 20 life, and they don't really care if you gain a little bit more. Um, I think we have a nice curve. I'm going to keep... Uh, okay, they choose to play first. Sure, sure. Okay, we... Here's our curve, here's our game plan. Yep. What is this? Ooh, Augur of Skulls? Oh, yeah, no, that's pretty good. <laughs> I don't have much plan against that. Alrighty, then. Ouchies. What do I discard? Um, six. Uh, pass it to them. Gosh. Um, I'm going to be down some cards. I don't know if Cryer is acceptable. Here I'm thinking, oh, there's no way we could be at card disadvantage. I suppose they didn't use any, any of that extra mana uh, from Dark Ritual. But wait, they didn't... They didn't sacrifice Augur of Skulls, so I'm not blocking that. Are you crazy? That, this creature is way more valuable. I could just gain that life back. You insane? <laughs> I might be playing into Nausea. But we might be able to play the Stitcher Priest, go into Spider Silk Armor. Play right into Spider Silk Armor on turn three instead of the Crier. Uh, always yield to that trigger. Yes. There you go. 
You may have the turn. After taking that one damage. Get it. Get it. Take it. Feel it in between your toes. What's that? Oh. Uh, <laughs> and yes, I am comparing getting uh, beaten to death by Soul Sisters uh, to stepping on dog crap in the yard. Yes, I am absolutely comparing it to that. <laughs> Uh, they're... Do they rage quit? Or are they considering whether they want to disfigure this? Well, I guess we just get to spend some nice time together. Stare- hold on. I guess we just get to spend some nice time together staring into each other's eyes until our opponent gets back to it. Hold on, let's just... Oh, let's just put that away. All distractions gone. Well, we get to just enjoy our each other's company. Hmm. But, um... Oh, last time that I was drinking coffee out of a styrofoam cup. Oh, yeah, they're back. They're back. They're back. Okay. Uh, last time that I was drinking coffee out of a styrofoam cup on my desk, I spilled it all over the place while playing against the popper guy. So I had to, like, keep playing the match while there was coffee all over my desk. And I'm just like, ah, oh, God. What? It was getting into my notes and whatnot and getting into my stuff. And I'm like, oh, thank God. They don't have uh, anything to get rid of spider silk armor. Go ahead. Take the crier. Take the Aspen Sporter. We don't care. If you take the Soul Sister, that would be pretty good. Oh, they they did the smart play. They took the Crier. That was our uh, way of winning. That was a lot, probably a lot faster. So next turn, I think they're going to use Augur of Skulls to just... Or maybe they're going to gonna use it as a blocker? Nope, they might be getting in. Nope, they didn't get in. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Ah, safely getting in. And you know, I didn't think of it, but I think reach actually might matter in this matchup. If they have any flyers, which I don't know if you're aware of this, but three mana uh, put Hypnotic Spectrum into play it used to be a play that people would make. Uh, discard Sands, discard Essence Warden. Uh, we can play Essence Warden next turn. Uh, maybe we should have kept the Sands. Yeah, we do have card advantage, officially. Oh, Revenous Rats. Alright. Dang it. I thought I hit yes on you. Is that last game? Does it not count this game? Ooh, we get Crier anyway. I just want to show you this pre-combat. <laughs> yes! Oh, there we go. Jank versus Jank. I don't know if this is Jank anymore because I purposely make my decks to be as competitive as possible. Oh, it felt good. It was a fast one, but it uh, felt pretty good. Match clocked? Oh, okay. 25 minutes. I never, I never pay attention to any of this stuff on the side, but I think it might be important. <laughs> players allowed. Uh, any player. Players uh, allowed. Watchers allowed. Um, yes, allow watchers. I think this might be an interesting way to prevent, uh... No, that, that would still allow people to stream snipe, potentially. You want the dice roll? Yes, we'd like to play first. We have two sources of mana. We have creatures. We have things we can do. Should we trick them into thinking we're elves? Yeah. Of course. We should trick them into thinking that we're elves. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, elves coming through. 
<laughs> Elf coming through. I didn't say that I was elves. I just said an elf is coming through. <laughs> this is not trickery. This is not. This is not trickery. Oh, Kurt Ape. Yeah. I think you're in a bad place. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh wait, no. I should have. Uh, okay, fine. Um, always yield to this one. Always yield to that one. Yes. Oh, get the one squad hawk, get the other squad hawk, get the other squad hawk. What? What? What did I... Finish searching, click... Okay, it said that I didn't select one for a second, and I'm like... What did I miss? <laughs> I thought I clicked them all. Um... I think we're just- I don't think that I really want to trade. Or maybe I should. Because this might actually be worth more life trading in the short term. And they are an aggro deck. They are, they are built for the short term. Ooh, okay, that's, that's also worth a card. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Ooh, do you go get the forest? Oh, I was hoping that they would try to like trick me, attack a card ape, and I go, oh, block with the one one. Oh man, free trade, sure. And then uh, they tutor out forest or something. I'm not blocking that. That would be that would be fantastic if they did that. Uh, winding way next. Do we do Winding Way next? Nah. Actually, undo. Undo. I'm, I'm used to, from the last deck, I'm used to playing creatures um, partly pre-combat because of the answered prayers would become a creature when a creature entered. So, yeah, plus gods and like Theros would ask for devotion. So if you could turn one into a god, I mean, if you could turn a god into a creature and not just an enchantment you could uh you could end up getting in with like the big indestructible creature which is like so satisfying so you kind of prioritize getting them into a creature first uh so putting a creature main phase onto the battlefield is fine plus there's no wrath spells in this game uh besides electricery and this is game one so i don't think electricery is really important here Yeah? Yeah, you uh you, do you attack? No, I'm not gonna block it. You can you can have it. You can have the life. It's fine. I don't need it. If they say if if we get a land here, untapped source. Ooh, we get field surgeon instead. Hmm. You know, I'm thinking maybe I should just get Winding Way. Go, just go with Winding here, Way here. They might have another untapped creature, another creature to turn this into a big beater. In that case, you know, we could play Field Surgeon, uh, block, tap two creatures, protect it, uh, and then block again, tap two creatures, protect it. I mean, prevent the damage. But you know, I'm gonna go Winding Way. Ooh, yeah. There we go. We got three for one. And... And yeah, that's fine with me. Uh, Yes. Yes, that is perfectly fine. Next turn, I might go get some lands. Because right now... <laughs> we might want some lands. I would very much like some lands. So we're down to 43 cards. We have uh, 21 lands in the deck. We only have three of them, so one seventh of our lands are down. The next card that we draw has a rather high chance of being land. I'm not going to block it. I don't know why that took me a second. I had to think. 
uh, about the land count and my mana base for a sec. If you've been watching me for a while, I like uh, manipulating a mana base to get the maximum benefit out of it. Oh. Dang it, no. I wanted to say always yes. Well, there's <laughs> there's a card. Um, yeah, I think double squawk here is just fine. Or actually, uh, undo. Undo. Um, nah, I think just double squawk here is. Don't no do it post combat. Get in first. Derp. God. And don't cast anything during the end of combat. Wait until main phase. Okay, then then we play some creatures. Oh, should we just play Crier? I think we should play Crier. And uh, out aggro. Uh, always yes. Oh, yes. And then just start making two tokens a turn. Uh, this spell... I love... I like spell shapers. The ability to have all other cards in your hand have an additional mode is... is kind of worth it. It doesn't do thing, anything immediately, but over the course of the game, not... You know, I get that it can be removed, what, uh, whatever. Okay, yeah, sure. Go, go ahead. Would you... What are you going to do with that? What are you going to do with that? Okay. Wait. Oh, what, what's not going to be able to block? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> what are they going to say when we go back up to 20 next turn? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that can't block. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't look like lethal. I don't I don't think it's something that we can't recover from. No. Hey, wait a minute. Can we almost kill them back? Can we Oh, frenzy goblin. Darn it. I wanted to I wanted to attack and just be like Oh, attack you and, uh, you know, Leon on Armor Guard. Oh, that seems so good. But not as good as making a bunch of creatures. Oh, goodness. Do we do Armor Guard, attack, get, get in for 10? Gain a nice two life, make it... Oh, God. No, I don't want to be greedy. I don't want to throw it away. I don't want to throw anything away. Let's, let's not... But we will play a nice little uh, field surgeon here. They're flooding a little, I think. Yep. <laughs> I like how they just like started to see us go back up. I'm like, ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> um, uh, spider sick armor instantly. Um, I have to make room for this, some of these. Uh, I might... I don't... No, no Holy Light. No Holy Light. Uh, Prismatic Strands is garbage by comparison to just gaining a ton of life. <laughs> uh, the Armor Guard, they, they have a lot of creatures. We might be sitting at parity with them for a second. Uh, I would rather have the Spider Silk Armor. I don't think the game is going to go late, so Sprout Swarm is questionable. Um, <clears throat> I will include that other... I don't feel like they're going to be holding up removal for a lot of our creatures. Uh, White Mane Lion. There's not going to be a lot of times where we're going to have White Mane Lion in hand, if the Crier on the battlefield, and say to ourselves, oh man, uh, we might be able to like trick them and have that be the right time for them to cast Lightning Bolt on uh, one of our creatures rather than our face. Eesh. We already got the one Field Surgeon. We almost didn't, we didn't use it last turn. I mean, last game. Maybe that was the thing that made them scoop. I should really take this deck to a tournament. 
I should re I should really do that. Am I gonna do it? Probably not. Ooh. Ooh. Here's the thing. I. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. It's a little slower. Um, I'm gonna definitely commit to playing uh, Essence or in first. I don't have a turn to play. Hey, wait a minute. Get back here. What? No. No. Get. Yes. There. Stop switching! God! Okay. Would you like to bolt it? I'm very comfy with you bolting it. Sign of the Wilds. We can drop two of them at the same time. That seems great. Seems great. Uh, if they bolt this instead of one of these, that, eh, yeah, I guess that's an okay idea. Oh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Sure. I think the mana base is a little clunky and it might be slowing us down a tad. I uh, might take out the sanctuaries for... I don't know what else. Uh, no, I'm not blocking that. Are you crazy? Why would I... Silly deck. Why would I do something so almost insane? Thanks, Switcher Priest. Ah, uh, we might want to prioritize a little bit of life gain. Rather than getting out these, uh, finishers. Oh yeah, get him for one. You have double bolt? Double bolt? Cascade. Ooh, elephant got Alright, yeah. That's a card. Uh no, that's not what I meant. Not what I wanted. I uh I keep trying to do something else. Uh play one of these? Always yes. Oh, wait. Oh, it's healed. Oh, it's healed. And then, uh... Oh, wait, yeah. Attack. Do a double attack? <laughs> Real quick. <laughs> Got him. Uh, again, their life is more valuable to them than our life is to us. I mean... Over the course of the game, they're going to start to realize that they should be on the defensive a lot more than they realize. Oh, each creature we control. That is actually pretty brutal. Darn you. Okay, now we're on the defensive. Um, okay. Got me. It's under 12. Nia Hushblade, okay, uh, yep, I'm wondering if we should play, uh, Spider Silk Armor first, then have Sign of the Wilds? Or actually, uh, should we go Acorn Harvest first, uh, and then Spider Silk Armor? The extra toughness might, uh, it might not matter as much now. Yeah, I don't think that they have a second one in hand. That would be pretty good luck. Uh, I'm willing. I'm willing to go to another game for that. <clears throat> Next turn, evolving wilds.
God, a three for one. This is about as good as an Ancestral Recall. <laughs> but just against your opponent. It doesn't draw you cards. It just gets rid of three of theirs. Ooh. It might be in bolt range. Um, should I eat these to mitigate the damage? I don't think I'm in a position to, uh, yeah, I'll let in the three. I'll let in the three. Okay, we go down to nine. Prevent the big stuff. Okay, there's another Naya Hushblade. All right, they might have gotten us. Okay. Well, well. Ah, darn, I can't do it all at once. We'd be going down to six. For starters, let's flash back the acorn harvest. Here we go, just that one. Yeah, uh, one here. I, I would like to double block here, but I don't think that I can afford to do so. Because if they have any lightning bolt, which they probably do, don't they only play four. They have two cards left in hand. If they play any creature with haste, that might hurt me. Oh god, what if they play land and then the, the heal cutter? They go to combat. Yeah, I don't think that I can win from this position. Oh yeah, go go to blockers. Mason, go go to blockers. Yeah, okay. Sure. I'm pretty much dead to lightning bolts. Either way, I believe. Oh, actually, no. Well, if I had blocked the other Hatchblade, uh, I still wouldn't have. Okay, I'm getting another turn. They might not have it. <clears throat> Is it? It's a border post. Okay. Do they have landfall creatures? Ha. I see. I see. Um, that's not very good. Undo. Undo. Um, okay. I think I should just concede this game. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm dead. They got me. Um, I'm thinking that the field surgeon might be a little bit better. But where to put it? Where do we put it? In response to a card that finishes off the game? Um, I don't know. Some of these large creatures might be able to help us stabilize. But probably not as much as gaining a bunch of life or preventing a bunch of damage. Yeah. Okay, that that's better. By a smidgen. Yes. I can't believe I played into what was basically an electricery. Mmm. Mmm, a bunch of one ones again. You know, if they actually. Oh, wait, hold on. Might have made an oops. I almost had made a huge, terrible mistake. <laughs> I, I really hope that we find uh, Spider Silk Armor. This is a great hand, I think, but unfortunately, it's not a very uh, great hand against uh, their sideboard cards. Green, play one of these. 
Selesnia Sanctuary? Uh, yep, pass the turn. Oh, they don't have red mana. Likely they have it in hand. Yep. All right, Burning Tree Emissary. Okay. All right. Uh, should we three? I think next turn we should thin the deck. I'm not going to block. No. Oh, boy. Thinning out the deck seems pretty good. Such a priest. Always yield. I actually should have gotten to the forest. Um, yeah, let that be. I'm not attacking. Not into that. They might know to hold on to to hold on to it. Um, to save themselves a little bit of trouble and maybe pick off another creature. But if I show them a scion of the wilds, they didn't float mana, did they? Nope, maybe they did. Oh yeah, no, they had to pay for the border post, right? Right. Ah, uh, gain some life. Uh, boys, yes, boys, yes. I'm not gonna block. Ooh, the field surgeon. Okay. Now I can just tap the creatures to prevent uh, any kind of individual ping. Great. That sounds great. I am super up for that. I would rather play Blossoming Sands and then Essence Warden. Oh, wait. Damn it. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Of course. I forgot. The important part. I'm an idiot. Damn it. <laughs> Damn my misplay. Wait. No. 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 You need that. You need these. God, I like how they've dealt us probably uh, eight damage and still... Uh, we're at 20. <laughs> yeah. Seems good. Now, if only I wasn't stupid. <laughs> this game would be going much better. <laughs> I wonder if they have it and they're looking at it in hand and they're just going, God, my sideboard card sucks now. <laughs> mm. Come on. Go ahead. Use it. Use electricery. Ooh, Cascade. Okay. Okay, Cascade, uh, this does not give them haste. Violent Outbird Burst does just gives them the pump on the front end. Okay. Yes. 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 Hey, we've already dealt two damage. That's good. Right? Right? Yeah. Ooh, we go down to 12? I don't know. I feel pretty good. Well, actually, they're tapped out. Um, we should block. Um, I would like to block. Mm, no. Yep. I'm going to go to that. Then we're going to go to damage. Right before damage. There we go. Prevent the next three damage. Apply your damage replacement effects. Click on the shield to prevent... Yeah? Uh... Yeah? Okay. That did it, right? 
Alright, I'm not used to that. I think that's the first time that I've actually gotten to use Field Surgeon and the opponent just decided not to attack or something. <laughs> um, okay. Sure. Let's, let's play another land. Let's, uh, just stop all this, all the, wait, undo that. First, let's, let's sequence this out right for once. Go ahead, here's my 5-5. Five five. Uh, always yes to Sutra Priest. Yes, I thought I said yes to Sutra Priest always. Back up to 20. <laughs> uh, a nice, thick wool sweater, that's what I like. <laughs> nice and cozy. <laughs> Go ahead, play another creature, I want to get you down to 17. <laughs> what you got? It's okay. Come on out. It's okay, little buddy. Oh, another Violet Outburst. Oh, no. Oh, it's a Lightning Bolt. I think I'm okay with that. Um, I can see what they target when it goes on the stack, so then I can start using it. <clears throat> they might just choose our face. Oh. Oh, that's cute. A tap. I would like to use its ability. Uh, I would like to prevent the ability uh, tap an untapped creature. I like this one. I'd like to prevent... Yeah. I'd like to prevent a little bit more, please. Thank you. Thank you. Prevent the next. Great. Click on the shield... On the shield to prevent damage. Two players? Why is it saying players? I don't... I thought it automatically chose this. Oh, okay. It means this shield. I was looking for a physical... Or, oh, wait. This this one. Got it. Got it. Yeah, sorry. Dumb guy coming through here. Please. Excuse me. Please attack. I want to eat something. I'm so terribly hungry. Well, if I could just... If I could just... Uh, oh, what's biggest? I want that one. <laughs> Okay. Eat. Yum. Ooh, Slizney Sanctuary. Uh, we like this one? Undo that real quick. Uh, I'd like to use this, and I would like to use that one. And then I would like to do this one. Please. Yes. Thank you. I would like that. Thank you. Okay. So we're at 11. I would just like to very casually gain a little bit extra. You know. Doesn't hurt. That will... Uh, yeah, that's fine. Go to damage. Um, attack with my 7-7. Seven, seven. Cool. Cool. Can attack with that one. Summoning Sickness. Uh, let's hope uh, we draw Creature Neck Turns. Squad Hawk does great. Uh, Acorn Harvest does pretty amazing things for us. Uh, we can start to block now more comfortably. I think we should allow in two of the creatures just to be safe. They might have Lightning Bolt or something. What do they have? Heal Cutter? Oh, another, another Outburst. Oh, yeah. Sure. All right. Oh, they didn't do it. They knew that it wasn't going to do it, and they were going to die soon. Oh, they were no longer the aggressor. Uh, a <laughs> three mana, seven, seven. Turns out Impopper is not half bad. Ah, oh, that was awesome. Um, let me know if this is not a long enough uh, playthrough for you guys. I enjoy playing this deck. I really do. I, I kind of want to... Uh, Try one more thing, though, with this. Because I've seen uh, this other kind of Epiture of Blood combo that was similar to Soul Sisters, but not focused on, you know, the gaining life and actually doing a lot of stuff. It focused more on, like, 
almost ramping out Aperture of Blood and then playing Soul Wardens or like just, you know, sequencing these out with your extra mana. I, I wanted to try uh, a little bit of a different play than that. Uh, I think I'll try that. I think I'll try that maybe sometime next week. Hold on, let me see my... I got a schedule for things that I, I want to play because <laughs> I have uh, a black backlog of videos at this point. So I have to schedule them out. I don't want to release them all at once. Uh, let me know what you thought of the, about this deck and what you think I should do different. Let me know what you would like to play next. I'm thinking Fridays from now on are going to be fan, fan service Fridays where we just make decks that people want to see made. And uh, we take uh, requests. I mean, I take requests here myself. <laughs> Nobody else working for me to do this all myself. God, I don't think Crier was actually very good in this. I'm wondering if I should cut the Criers and just go up Answered Prayers or if I should do more Answered Prayers over the Crier. That, that is actually something to consider. Also, White Main Lion. Um, although we didn't see any matchups that were removal heavy, I still feel that White Main Lion was pretty okay. It, it was never a card in our hand where we're just like, well, this is absolute garbage, as much as like uh, 20th land would be garbage. Not something worth throwing away. We could recycle an EPTB uh, from from the uh, armor guard. All right, well, thank you for watching. And of course, let me know what you would like to see next time. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I kind of want to grow this channel and have the biggest number that I can. I uh, got to get the big numbers in. Thank you for watching and coming in for that face touch.